takes your work very seriously. It could be that you want to never be wrong. You never want to see someone see that you might not know everything or have all the answers. But chances are that ego is holding you back in the workforce. If you are unsure of something or maybe need a little bit more clarity, it is up to you to ask. That's not a sign of weakness. In fact, it's a sign of strength and personal growth. And every employer wants to know that they can count on someone to be authentic, truthful, and honest in their approach. So being upfront and asking for help and getting clarification is key to long-term professional success. If you're like most people, you probably spend more time at work than you do just about anywhere else. So it makes sense that you're going to build friendly and professional relationships in the workplace. It's not uncommon to hear people talking about what they did over the weekend or what their plans are for an upcoming holiday. And that friendly banter is great. It helps create a sense of a team camaraderie. It helps make the workplace a little more fun. But you want to be careful not to cross any boundaries. And by that, I mean don't share any information that's too personal. And don't ask anyone anything that's too personal. It could make them uncomfortable or make them feel pressured to talk about things that they don't want to be talking about at work. So a good rule of thumb is that if you ever are asking yourself, is this too personal? It's best to err on the side of caution and steer clear so that you don't cross those professional boundaries. Chances are, if you're watching this video, your career, your employment, your work means something to you. It's something that you take pride in. Chances are also highly likely, if you're watching this video, that because you're human, you have your own fair share of insecurities. That's natural, and it's normal. Where it becomes a challenge is when you're in the world of work and you may be on the receiving end of some more critical, difficult to hear feedback. And that feedback, or even the action of having feedback given, creates and stirs up some of those insecurities. The most important thing to remember is if you're on the receiving end of critical feedback, it's actually a positive, not a negative. If somebody cares enough to provide you with honest feedback to help you grow personally, professionally, and be the best possible worker you could be. You could be getting feedback about your attendance, feedback about your performance. Maybe a customer had a not so stellar interaction with you. Don't take that feedback personal because it's professional. Make sure you absorb it, learn from it, and commit to doing better moving forward. People love their four-letter sentence enhancers, and when you're not at work, that's absolutely okay. But if you want to be seen as a professional and as a strong communicator, you've got to hold yourself to a higher standard in regards to the language that you use to get your message across. So if you're at work and you're in a situation where you're prone to using those words, maybe you're working on something that's frustrating or maybe something didn't turn out quite right and you feel yourself getting angry, step back for a moment or even remove yourself from the situation if necessary just for a minute to collect your thoughts and calm down so that you can reapproach that situation a little more calm and collected. So that way you can not only avoid potentially offending someone at work with your language, but you're also more likely to succeed at that task that you were frustrated with. 